Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today um, is a bit of a different one. I had this thought in my head. Um, I was packing away makeup and I was thinking to myself, God damn, do you know what? Some of my favorite palettes are collaborations uh, with creators, not collaborations with like Disney and films, though I love that, though I love that. Um, I was thinking to myself, wow, the color stories that creators collaborate and create with brands are truly one of a kind and truly phenomenal and a standout in my collection. And I thought I'd just talk about them, show them to you, kind of just relish in the moment of how glorious some of these collaboration palettes are, like are, were, still are today. So I pulled out all of my collaboration palettes, if I drop any of these. Okay, here we go. Double chin moment. Okay, cool. Um, I have the Odensei and Hella palette with Angie, or rather, Odensei and Angie Hella palette. Uh, this collaboration was really, really great. It's currently on my eyes, like I said. I love a green moment. You know, I love a green. I think Angie, full stop, before I even show you this palette, I think Angie does amazing collaborations. Her eye for detail, in terms of, set, you know, she is definitely kind of, this is you and me this is me and you like this is both of us she's not like this is me in one palette she's very much looks at the brand sees what they're about it fits in she creates beautiful collaborations she's very good at fitting in with the brand's aesthetic um and standing alongside them or rather standing with them then along alongside them i don't know what i'm trying to say but this is a beautiful palette so the slip so the slip is like this it's kind of all like black and white and kind of gray and very dusty toned and then on the actual palette itself it's the same um, illustration but colorful really really pretty and then inside you have the mirror and the color story now this color story is really really lovely this is warm tones so everything in here is warm toned uh, you know even the steely gray is actually a very warm toned everything's very grungy i really really like it you've got some lovely shifty shades here the metallics are really juicy and lovely everything works well with one another the pinks and the greens are juxtapositions but i i truly love it it's like a it's like a bold but kind of safe juxtaposition it's really really nice and really playful and you can get some really complete looks and easy looks i mean like i said i wore this to work today i love wearing eyeshadow to work like i love just being fun it's, it's like how i express myself at work um but i created this look with maybe so it's this shade this shade this one this one maybe like six eyeshadows perhaps i created this look with it was really really easy and it was just easy to look at and just see the look um she creates brilliant collaborations I love this palette. Obviously speaking on the same track, Odin's Eye did come out with um, a collaboration before the Hella palette, which was these creators, which is Judy, um, Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and the Fancy Face. The palette is the same, like it's exactly the same. It's really, really beautiful, really beautiful. Like she looks stunning. And then inside, obviously you've got the mirror there and you've got this beautiful color story, which is very, I, I don't know if like, it's just like very oriental looking like very rich in culture um and yeah it says the red dragon and it does look dragony you know it does look like chinese new year um decorations i really really like it the red is really beautiful it does pull a little bit orange on me but that's fine because you can deepen it up there's some wonderful deepening shades i really like contrast in a palette which is why i love angie's collaboration so much because she always talks about contrast and i was like yes when she said it um this palette is lovely the colors go well together really really nice the only thing missing from this palette for me is like that inner corner highlight shade but not a problem. I, I'd rather there were the deepening shades than a highlight shade because I can choose my highlighter that I use to my face in my inner corner and kind of like mix it in with the predominant lid shade, not a problem. It's easier to pull the highlighter than to pull a separate eyeshadow palette for depth. But this is a really, really lovely palette. I'd say this is a very good introduction to color if you are a bit nervous around color. Um, and it also, I'd say, could pull to different skin tones as well, depending on how much you layer. It has got these lovely deep shades and the metallics are quite deep as well. It's a really, really nice palette. I think she did a wonderful job. Annette's Giant's Wolves palette, I think is so much fun. This is so Annette. Like when I think of Annette, I think of these shades. I don't know why, like I know that sounds so silly. The packaging is so cute by the way, like how cute is this? Um, and yeah, inside these colors are just kind of like witchcraft. It just reminds me of her hair. I think, I know that sounds silly, but um, I really, really like this. I haven't used this palette enough, to be honest. I, actually, do you know what? I've just realized I have never used this top row. 
Oh damn, I haven't used this palette enough at all. I really, really like it. It's really actually cool toned um, and yeah, really lovely. You've got the purples, the blues, the greens, and this like black and white, but this is like a shimmery, reflecty shade. Really, really cool. I really like it. I think this is not for the faint hearted, but then Annette's makeup style isn't for the faint hearted. I think it's a very good homage to her. And I think that the brand actually benefits from a little bit of something like this. There wasn't anything really like this before her palette, so. I think this is a really great collaboration. Love the front, love the inside, and this reminds me that I've got to pick this one up more because this is a truly fantastic palette. Did I even show it to you up close? I don't know if I did or not, but um, really, really stunning, really great palette. And then obviously we've got the Fancy Face, the Hummingbird palette. Again, this palette packaging is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this. Hello. Um, and then inside is just this tropical, <gasps> I've never used this. <laughs> Okay, well I was gonna say this is a tropical dream. Do you know what though? I don't think I have to use it to, to love it. I have swatched this for sure, but I've actually never used it on my eyes, which is shameful. Maybe I could do a video on all of the makeup I own and have used once, or all of the makeup I, <laughs> I own and have never used, because that would probably put me to shame. Maybe I need a shame bell, you know? Maybe I need someone to ring the shame bell for me. But this palette is really, really lovely. It's actually not my favorite which is probably why i've not picked it up to play with even though i've swatched it the shades individually are really stunning and i think this is a great collaboration i think if you like color then you will like this for me i don't look at this and i'm not necessarily inspired by it in the sense of i don't look at it and see immediate looks but then when i look at them as individual shades i'm like oh girl that is so fabulous um this lime green you know i'm attracted to that these even these mattes are really really lovely this one down here is nice as well it's a lovely color story um let me show you a bit up close it's a lovely color story but should i create like a little pile of ones i love and have tried ones that i love just haven't worn because they're good collaborations but just not my favorites is that savage maybe i like a bit of savageness these are from soph she's actually got a third one i thought i bought it have i bought it have I just spoken about it? In fact, if I've bought it, where is it? She's created three palettes with Makeup Revolution. All of them, I'll be honest, are a little bit samey samey. Like this is the Soph palette and this is the Extra Spice. And then I think like the other one's like Extra Spice, like extreme, I don't know. The mirrors are really great on these. Um, I like these palettes. I, to be honest with you, these collaborations, <laughs> Are frustrating for me because these are great color stories and I really like them for like the everyday girl like this would be so great for me to just chuck on my eyes every day for work it's so easy to think about like you've got your jewel toned pops of colors here if I just kind of bring it up to the actual screen for you you kind of got like the jewel toned pops of colors that are really easy and then like the flushy um like sangria vibes you know i like to talk about sangria vibes on the eyes like sunsetty sangria like really juicy you could achieve that really well and then you've got kind of like the cool tone for smoky eyes and then in the extra spice version she's kind of got more warm tones and then murky tones here i like these palettes i just wish they were better quality for me i'm kind of like leaning over putting them over here I have used them. These are the only Revolution palettes, I think, that I own still. Um, I like them as a reference point. I think these are some of the better quality eyeshadows that Makeup Revolution have done. Makeup Revolution are hit and miss in my eyes. Um, but these are the better quality ones, and I like to keep them as references references and support soap. This shade here is really, really pretty. I just find them a little bit dusty, okay? I can't help it. They're just a little, yeah, just a little bit dusty. Okay, Dose of Colours uh, released this palette. It is a little bit beaten up. This is so old. It just reminds me of like Kim Kardashian. It's very like sex terrestrial, you know, like very like sexy, but like, I, like space, <laughs> sexy space. This palette is so, so nice. It's so like, you don't think it's versatile and then you play around and you're like oh damn this is pretty versatile you can really mix these shades so i've like layered the blue and the red to create a purple before and it's so jammy and i mm, oh, i love it the um the gold is kind of like an olivey gold which you know i love my greens so the gold is really really lovely the greeny olivey gold and it blends well with all these shadows and then you want to lean into blue and you've got kind of this cool tone it's a really nice collaboration they did those party shop singles which are really cool i want to see like the party shop singles in a palette you know like how um urban decay did the moon dust palette and then they put them in the singles i want to see the reverse happen for dose 
and I, I think I would definitely, well, I think I would definitely pick that up. I don't know if Dota is actually as readily available as it used to be. But I would love to see it more readily available and for them to release something exciting because this is the last exciting thing I saw from Dose. Um, maybe their foundations, but I didn't even pick that up. So yeah, really, really like this collaboration. It's a standout to me. And sometimes it just enters my thoughts in the strangest of times, even when I'm reading in bed. Okay, you knew it was coming at some point. This is the Kaleidos and Anielika Nikvitz collaboration, the Club Nebula. This is hand on heart, I think one of my favorite palettes of all time. Like. If I had to say goodbye to all of my palettes, like all of them, and I could only keep like five. In fact, I think I've done a video on this. I think I've done it if I could only keep 10. I'll link it up in the eye, I have done a video on this. And this was like one of the top three palettes that I would keep forever if I was only allowed to use 10 for the rest of my life. I love this palette so much. I love Kaleidos, 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 whatever you call it. I love them because they're, uh, their vision is so different and so fresh and so modern and so exciting and their formula is stand out it's absolutely stand out i have created so many looks this palette it's actually to the point it's so well loved it might not look at it from far back but this is really really well loved i love this palette so much i'm a tiny bit afraid to use it because i don't want to use it up i know that's the most ridiculous thing i can say because have you seen how many eyeshadows I have? I'm not using any of them up. They're not being used up anytime soon. I'm gonna be buried with these. Um, but maybe I'm just gonna be buried with this one, like this, in my coffin, just like holding the Club Nebula. Uh, this is the Batty Bean and Shroud. It's freaking bats palette. Now, I don't think I, no, I wasn't subscribed to Batty Bean. I didn't even know who she was. This palette made me subscribe to her. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, oh, okay hello um this is what the palette looks like on the outside nothing particularly like amazing but that's fine i think it's really cute i love the colors and then inside i was just obsessed with this color story is this just not so cute she's recently released the it's hello bean palette which i was like that name is adorable um, and i will pick that up i'm just not in an immediate rush i'm trying not to buy any makeup it's, it's evident to see that I've got makeup that I haven't really loved and I've owned for like nearly an entire year. There's fluff everywhere. And um, I haven't really picked up, so I'm trying not to buy makeup currently. Um, so, but I will pick up eventually, hopefully. She did say that it's not limited edition, so maybe uh, in the next six months I can pick it up. This palette is beautiful. The uh, formula is really, really nice. The metallics are quite um, flat in the sense of they're beautiful, they're fully pigmented, but they're not like they want any texture to them which is fine i'm not you know i'm not asking for the most it's just to let you know that they're they're just quite flat but like i said it's fine it's really really beautiful i love the color story i think this is great fun you can go blue you can go purple you can go green you can go a mix of both this color here dairy actually is like a deep 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 plum um it's kind of like a burgundy plum actually and it's really really beautiful even with the greens but yeah i really like this and there's a good mix of shimmers and mattes and yeah the only thing missing for me is technically the inner corner i probably wouldn't use sam as an inner corner because it's a tiny bit too deep it's a bit too sagey did i show you this up close i'm sorry if i didn't but that's what the palette looks like up close i'm sure you've seen these palettes these are all old palettes so it's not like i'm showing you something brand new i, I really really like it i um this palette made me subscribe to Batty Bean, Betty Jean, and I love her content. Like, I literally love her content, and I'm kind of thankful that she made such a wonderful palette. I'm thankful to Shroud that they made such a wonderful palette because I've now found a creator that I love. This, just, I love her. She's just great fun. I love her makeup style, and it's going over here as one of my favorites. Okay, let's talk about one that's pretty recent. This is the Heather Austin and Adept Cosmetics collab. Uh, this released, is it like June time? Maybe even, maybe it was even July actually. It was very recent, like only a couple of months ago. This palette is so beautiful, like so, so beautiful. Is it my perfect palette? No, simply because there's not enough mattes for me. I do have to use other palettes with this palette, but the shimmers, the colors the like the color story is just chef's kiss it is 
amazing honestly if you want to try adept i'd highly recommend this being the palette that you step into um and this is a collaboration i think is perfect heather loves her shimmery shiny glittery shades so it totally makes sense that this is more shimmer heavy when i say shimmer like shimmer glitter this than matte uh it makes sense it makes sense so therefore i completely forgive it and i go yeah this is really stunning this palette is just so full of different tones every single shade in here is a hit there is not a single shade in here that i dislike honestly out of every single one scrubs is the one that i've used the least and that's simply because i don't apply blue eyeshadow as much as any other color just because i i struggle okay i got all aboard the struggle bus with a blue i just struggle using blues i, I love it but i'm just not very good at using a blue i think it's because i'm just I, i'm blend happy i just keep blending and blending and blending and then i look dead so um i love this palette i love the packaging i love that like the faux leather pleather heather austin stamped in this beautiful wine burgundy color it reminds me of my nintendo xl do you remember when the nintendo xl was this wine color throw back to that that's that's like a beautiful memory that just popped up in my head i love this palette truly do it's an amazing collaboration like i said if you were to try any of the adept palettes i would actually point you to this one to try out if you love the color story of course but if you could only afford one and you wanted to try their formula you want to try a bit of both you happen to like this color story i'd actually recommend you pick this one up um, over the other ones because i think the quality is completely highlighted in this palette it's brilliant i love it okay i have three collaborations from beauty bay beauty bay do some really great palettes um i wish i had the mama mitchell palette that collaboration looked phenomenal and it looks really really great let's kind of go in order of things i guess so this palette here the nikki tutorials palette i think is such an unsung hero i feel like everyone hated on this and I freaking love this palette i don't know what people are talking about when people are like oh it's so patchy it just blends out to nothing it's got no pigment i'm like are you on drugs this is such a beautiful palette i don't understand when people say it, i'm like they must have got a dud i really like the color story of this i think this is fun i don't necessarily see it as a dark side and a fun side like i can see it when you do this but I think that's because the packaging colour, I, I think if you took the packaging background away, you wouldn't necessarily see it as the dark side and the light side. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily see it like that. But I love every single one of these shades. I think they're really, really beautiful. I've created some really fun looks. They're really pigmented. They're really fun. The shimmers in here are really, really beautiful. This one here is stunning. This one here and mystery tutorials. Yeah, like some of these are great. Like really, really great. I love this collab and honestly like i feel like it gets so much hate and it goes on sale so often on beauty bay i think it's gone on sale like to like eight pounds before beauty bay over here selling a palette for less than 10 pounds and this is like i need to swatch something i need to swatch something what should we go for let's go for pride because it's one of my favorites <sighs> okay one swipe like look at that come on you can't tell me i'm just gonna <laughs> one swipe i'm just re realigning it but you can't tell me that that's not beautiful and pigmented honestly like i don't understand people's hate for this palette everyone was like they let nikki down says who i love that palette i think the next palette i low-key kind of re <laughs> regret buying i was really hyped about it and then i bought it and then I never used it. I have never used this. I've swatched this so many times. This is the AO Coralie. I think she's a French influencer. The reason I bought it was, okay, A, really cool packaging. Very kind of like tattoo artist, covered in piercings kind of vibe. I thought it was really cool. Inside you've got a mirror there. Two really cool um, highlighters. One's like blue leaning, one's pink leaning. Um, and these really cool bright colours. Um, all of them are matte apart from this shade and is it this shade? Really, really cool. And I was kind of a little bit obsessed with this. I really liked the fire around the highlighters. And obviously you can use the highlighters uh, not just on your face, but on your eyes and to kind of go with it. And that's what she did is she created this yellowy pinky highlighter to go with these and this bluey purple highlighter to go with these shades. I really like this palette and I've never used it which is kind of like, it kind of sucks on my part. So firstly, I want to say what a brilliant collaboration because I think it's really fun. It's very colorful and I think it's not for the faint hearted. Um, and, and it's great fun. And, and I picked up 
because it was actually only like £7.50 because I got it on a beauty base sale. So I picked up because I was like, it's low price and I love it. And I think it was £15 to begin with anyway, so it wasn't even that expensive. But I wish that I would have picked this up a bit more, probably because I've got so much that I just kind of overlooked it. But um, it's really fun. Like, look at these shades here. How fun are these? And this is a sangria vibe, but like on steroids. I should love this. I should, I should use this. I should use this but I haven't so it's a great collaboration I think Beauty Bay um it's fun to see them collaborate with people that are not necessarily wildly known wildly widely known I think that's really great um I wish we would see more of that and yeah it's really cool to see different people's ideas I am gonna put it on this side though because I haven't used it <laughs> okay the last one i have from beauty bay is the jade palette um i kind of went back and forth about this one a lot of people don't like the packaging i think the packaging is awesome it kind of reminds me of like the american deserts like um not nirvana that's the band nevada nevada valley am i getting that right am i okay am i well uh and then like space i think it's really cool it's a really cool palette um inside the only thing is it's pretty big i'm not actually well not a massive fan of big palettes but this in itself is actually a really great one you've got a bit of everything that you need in here you've got some really cool inner corner options if you want them and the same goes with what i've said before you could easily use like a highlighter for an inner corner but you've got some really nice shades some nice neutral shades some fun colorful pops you know you have got quite a few browns in here Are these olive tones down here scrumptious the blues are really pretty i have used a couple of the blues before and the oranges and pinks they're just really fun it's kind of like warm tone up here and cool tone here so if i turn the palette because this is actually really heavy um it's kind of like warm tones up here and then hit yourself in the face and cool tones down here it's actually really really lovely like when i do that really nice palette kind of reminds me of the sample beauty one actually and then this one here is like blues and greens and a bit of gold it's really really nice it's a really great palette and i really like this one i think this was a great collaboration anastasia beverly hills collaborate with quite a few people obviously there was the mario palette or mario mario palette um i don't own that one i would have loved to have owned that one but it was kind of before my time in the sense of before my makeup habit sort of time it was before i had money okay i was very young <laughs> um and that was a great one obviously they had the amrezy one and then they had the Amrezy 2. I think the Amrezy 1 was like the Mario Mario palette in that structure. And they obviously came out with the Amrezy, this one that we probably all know and love now. This beautiful pink palette. I caught this on offer in Beauty Bay and I was like, mine, mine, mine. It's stunning. The packaging is this beautiful. This is like, I want, this is like a jewel. It's so glittery. And it's not, it doesn't fall out or, you know, there's no glitter on your hands or anything like that inside the palette is beautiful the only thing that i wish this palette <laughs> i wish it was less like modern renaissance a little bit i feel like this is a little bit like modern renaissance's older sister <clears throat> and if i had my time again if modern renaissance and this one were released at the same time i'd pick up this one because i think it's a bit more refreshed it's got different textures barb is just a standout shade this one here which is called reezy um this creates actually such, such a beautiful pink poppy beautiful look and, and the shades are really nice it's got depth and contrast which you know i love um there are some glitters in here but i find that the glitters are very um gel like they're not gritty or anything like that and actually i have no problem with putting them on my eyes I, I wish there were less than two i wish there were just like one or maybe even none but you know if you wanted to include glitter i'm i'm kind of bummed that there's like two glitters in there is what i'm trying to say but this is a really really lovely palette honestly i think she did an amazing job it is i was gonna say a little bit basic it's not exactly adventurous in terms of the colour story. It's, you know, you've got a pop of pink and a pop of blue. Like, let's just call it how it is. It's a basic B palette with a pop of pink and a pop of blue. Um, cool. I don't really understand the concept of a pop of blue. I don't want a pop of blue. <laughs> I never want a pop of blue. I love blue eyeshadow. I love blue in palettes. But um, for me, I don't want a pop of blue with brown. I don't really want that. So I wish they kind of just embraced the pink tones and just made it out of like a palette that was more like bronzes, browns and pinks, like a pink toffee, you know? But um, this is a really beautiful palette. I love this. There were also the other collabs. Have I got all the collabs in front of me? If I have missed one, I am sorry. There was the Alyssa Edwards palette, which if I'm perfectly honest, 
wish I didn't buy. I have used this a couple of times. I've used this actually for coloured liner, so this purple and the blue I've used quite often to kind of put in as a like a wing and then just put this one through the crease or like put this in the inner corner. I use this for like one or two eyeshadows. When I open this I feel like I don't get inspired by this palette. I think if it's a bit of you then it's a lovely formulation. ABH do some amazing quality but I am going to put it on this side because it's like not my favourite. It's nice, I've used it but I shouldn't have bought it. I don't know why I did. I just wanted to be a completionist, which is really dumb. And I now know better. So that this can go over here. <laughs> and there was also the Carly Bible palette, which I I know some people get like weird about this palette. It's weird packaging. It does make me feel uncomfortable. I don't have like a phobic phobia of holes or whatever. Um, but it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable and I don't really know why. Um, but the Carly Bible palette is actually a really, really lovely one. I feel like this wasn't given the moment that it deserved. This is such a natural, angelic palette. You've got the warm tones on the bottom and the cool tones on top. They are a little bit, I think they look dusty in the pan. And I think that's why I haven't picked it up so much. Like I really haven't gone into this as much as I would like. I've gone a lot into the warm tones, but the cool tones for me look a little bit dusty and grey, and maybe that's why it's not appealed to me. But maybe I should use this. Like this one and this one look really nice. Maybe I should pick this up a little bit more, but I, I have used these shades quite a lot. They're really, really pretty. Last but not least for the Anastasia Beverly Hills is obviously the Jackie Eyeliner palette. This was, oh my God, how is this not given more of a moment than it did? The packaging for this is insane. It's so Jackie. It's just so Jackie. It's amazing. The campaign for this was also incredible. And the colors in here are fabulous. Ooh, there goes the brush. The colors in here are fabulous. I have used this palette quite a lot. All of these are stunning, these are stunning. Actually, this kind of reminds me, that bit there, reminds me of the new um, ABH Nouveau palette. Those six there, I don't know, what are your thoughts? I really, really like this palette. I think it's great fun. I think Jackie did an amazing job. Um, and again, ABH don't have anything quite like this. And I think it's very user-friendly. It's nice and rich deep which is obviously deliberately why she made that to fit skin tones that were closer to hers totally get that but it's actually also really versatile for people that don't have a deep skin tone and I think she did an amazing job on this one to the point where I kind of want to play with this now but I can't but I want to it's a stunning palette I love it the next palette I want to talk about is a glam light palette this is the Michaela she has the part two palette um I interestingly was going to buy that today and it was like $35 just for shipping. And then I added something else in the cart and it was still $35. So I feel like it's one of those things where, yeah, I'm not sure. I simply don't want it that much to pay that much for shipping. I don't mind spending, I'd say probably between 15, maybe 20 pounds at a push for shipping, but not like, not $35. I, I think that's just kind of expensive for me. Anyway, this is the Michaela palette. I'm not a massive fan of packaging. Like, it is what it is. I, I'm not, mm, I'm not a fan. I, I mean, it, it's okay, it's okay. It's a bit uninspired for me personally. <laughs> but inside, my God, the color selection in here is stunning. I have used this palette so many times. You can even see from back here how many times I've dipped into the shimmers. I love these bottom two rows. I'm obsessed. Um, and the top two rows are really great as well. So I've worn this one many times to work where I've kind of gone for some neutral and for some color, which is what I like to do the most with makeup. I like to make colorful but neutral looks. I find that the most wearable for every day where people aren't like, hi, are you going clubbing? which a lot of people are like, I don't know, a lot of people in my life don't wear makeup or I have a job mostly with men. So I don't really feel comfortable wearing like really, really colorful makeup. But when I do neutrals and color, I feel cool. Um, and this is a really great palette for it. I absolutely love the quality of this. I think Michaela did an amazing job. Again, missing an inner corner highlight for me. Um, and there isn't real, real depth to this, but there is like this chocolatey brown with a black, which I do pick into a black sometimes from another palette. It's brilliant, especially with these three tones here, like the purple, the blue, and the green. If you want a touch of black, or even the brown, if you want a touch of black, it just deepens it up so much, but this palette is beautiful. I absolutely love it. 
Ah, Colourpop, Colourpop, Colourpop. Let's start off with, I think, the first one in terms of the ones that I own. I think this is the first one. This is the Femme Rosa palette. This is by Karoosh, um, and, well, Karoosh and Colourpop did a collaboration. I think this was around Valentine's Day, I'm not sure. Honestly, I applied this palette, whoop, I applied this palette a couple of days ago and I absolutely love it. I really, really like this palette. Whenever I think of kind of rosy tones, for some reason I always pick out this palette. I really like it. There's something about it where I find every look I do just really, really easy. I love these mattes here and then you've got like the metallics and then the softer metallics at the top. So it is a metallic heavy palette, but because they are softer, um, I find that you can just use one or two of these, like this one or this one on the outer corner, this one through the crease, one of these on the lid, one of these on the inner corner, maybe all over the lid itself. It's just like a really easy palette for me. I really, really like this one. I think she did an amazing job. Also, the packaging is really cute. Obviously, this isn't available anymore because it's really old, but the packaging is really quite sweet. Um, Colourpop have got iterations and iterations and iterations of this now. Even if you can't get this one, which you can't, you can get an iteration of it but I think she did an amazing job of this palette and I think it's still as a standout in my collection of a beautiful rosy toned like Valentine's inspired palette I really like it we then have more than just a few of the Kathleen Lights uh, collaborations the Dream Street palette is it's beaten up okay I don't know if you can see this uh packaging if you can actually see how dirty it is I'm not actually too sure that you can but it is one beat up palette. Uh, this is a really, really lovely palette and I did really, really like it at the time. I haven't picked this up in so, so long. It's a really, really good one. It's got some really nice neutral, warm, kind of toffee, caramel kind of browns. Some lovely coppers. This pop of coral is really, really nice to kind of make the, the look really warm and bright. And then the greens are really nice for kind of just making something different. This for me is kind of one of those things where if I could pop out a few of these singles and use them in combination with like my Cleona Cosmetics like stained glass singles, I think I'd really like this. Like this all throughout the crease, maybe this on the centre with a Cleona shadow like really in the middle for intensity. I think I'd like it even more. But this was a great palette. I think the packaging is really, really fun. And at the time, it was great and I, I slapped it up. I loved it. So yeah, this is the first collaboration. She also came out with, I think this was the second one, the Zodiac palette. I think the packaging of this one, it was absolutely stunning. Like I absolutely love it. It's got this kind of foiled um, imprint of all of the Zodiac signs. Obviously Kathleen is like very much into her Zodiac. You've got a mirror in this one as well. I have traveled with this one quite a few times. I do prefer it over the Dream Street. If I can try and get them up at the same time. I do prefer it over the Dream Street. I feel like this one is just a little bit more daring, a little bit more fun. This one, I don't know, I just, I don't pick it up very much, but maybe, maybe I should. Maybe it'll be fun. I have literally got so much love out of this one. So I did love it. It did have a time and place in my life at the time. This one excites me more because it's these beautiful blues in. It's got these lovely mauvey tones and then these neutral tones here. It's very versatile. I've traveled with this quite a few times, like I said. It's a great palette. She also released one of the first, is this 30 pan? I can't remember. Yeah, 30 pan. She released the first 30 pan eyeshadow palette. This is the So Jaded. I freaking love this one. I wore this one on my graduation day. I think this is one of the best palettes that Colourpop have come out with. This is one of my standout faves. I think this is actually one of those palettes that's kind of like the, um, in my top 10, you know, the video I mentioned earlier. I think this is in the top 10, if I remember. I wore this on my graduation day. I love how versatile this palette is. I I just love it so much. I love it so much. This actually does kind of remind me of the Beauty Bay Jade palette, which is interesting because this is called So Jaded. But it does kind of remind me of that, like Beauty Bay's version of this. Um, it has got two pressed glitters in, which are actually not too bad. The glitters are not too bad. Uh, these shades here are stunning. I love everything about this palette. Like even with the two glitters, I love everything about this palette. The super shock in here as well is really, really pretty. Um, I love the cool tones. I love the taupey tones. I love the green. I love the mustard. I love the, the burgundies. I just love everything about this palette. And I think it was a top notch collaboration. Also the packaging, like honestly, it's stunning. I think this collaboration was chef's kiss and uh yeah i will be buried with this with with my club nebula they'll just be stacked on me like this 
in my sarcophagus love it i also have one more ColourPop one to talk about this one was beautiful um this was the most recent out of all of these this is the uh, uh color pop and royal beauty christy collaboration at forest site she released this in i think 2020 the packaging of this for whatever reason reminds me of winnie the pooh a little bit i think it's like the forest nature of it like the forest vibe the forest walk it's got these beautiful mushrooms and this watermark of trees inside is such a beautiful color story honestly like this and i think it's kind of like what i love about club nebula as well is it's just like sultry deep dark saturation and i love i love i love i love this palette is very very matte heavy it has two metallics this one is kind of a matte with shimmers suspended in it but the shimmers don't really come out in my personal opinion unless you like pack it on so it doesn't bother me too much but all of these shades are beautiful i don't typically use this palette by itself i will use this palette to use as a foundation on my base like the, the most of the look and then i'll grab a really shiny special shade or a single um, and i use it in combination which i do like to do sometimes so i feel like this palette was a brilliant collaboration I look at this and do think of Christie. I think it was brilliant shades, very sultry, very kind of grungy, and I absolutely love it. The formula is top notch. The color story is top notch. Everything goes. There's so many looks you can create. You pinky looks, blue looks, green looks, orange looks, neutral looks, a mix of both, jammy looks. I love a jammy look, like really like peanut butter jelly. Like, no, oh, I love it. I don't know why I just love that look. So um, I love this palette. On to the last two palettes. These are my big, big boys. These are from Be Perfect. These are the um, Carnival Love Tahiti palette and the Carnival The Antidote palette. So the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti was the first palette that I picked up from the line, the series. I wasn't necessarily very drawn to the pro palettes. I just found that they were just an exaggerated rainbow palette and I just didn't really need that. But the Love Tahiti had like a colour story to it. It had the purples, the pinks, the oranges, and then it just had like these nice foresty greeny blues, but they weren't predominant. Predominant color in this entire palette is like the purples and pinks, I'd say. It's like half the palette, you know? When you look at it like this, it's half the palette. And then the other half is actually a mixture of a lot of other things. This palette's really lovely. I don't know if I got a bit of a potato-y palette. <laughs> um, the formula isn't, it's fine am i gonna get buried with it no like it's fine um i think i paid a lot of money for what it is it was the one that drew me in out of all of them and i think it's because it had a comprehensive color story as opposed to just being a rainbow i do however prefer the antidote palette i have used this a couple of times i haven't used this nearly as much as i would like this one is actually bigger so this is the carnival the antidote palette and this is love tahiti it annoys me how it's one inch bigger because it's just like it's not aesthetic to me. I wanted it to be the same size. I didn't realise that it was not going to be the same size. The um, Antidote palette is really nice. Again, it's a comprehensive colour story. It's not a rainbow palette. Can it be tailored down? 100%. Is this bigger than my laptop? It might be. It might be. Um, you've got some really nice shades in here. I have used this a couple of times. But there's some really nice shades in here. You've got the warm shade and the warm kind of... The whole thing's warm. But the warm orangey raspberry tones. Then kind of like the warm taupes and golds and greens. It's a really, really nice palette. This is kind of like the antidote for all of the colour. It's a really nice palette. It's definitely better quality than my Tahiti one. This is definitely, definitely, definitely nicer quality. So if I was to kind of say if I could only keep one it would be this one simply because I prefer the quality of this one this one did let me down a bit but yeah I think Stacey Marie has done a good job with all these palettes they seem to release one every year this year they've just remastered the original Carnival Pro palette I won't be picking that up I don't want a rainbow palette I've got rainbow palettes from brands that I actually really like so I don't want that but these are really nice palettes and I think they're something different I wish they weren't so big so that was the end of this video really I just wanted to show you some of the collaboration palettes that I have in my collection and just kind of give them their moment for a little bit even though they're old just celebrate the fact that they're really great palettes I do find collaboration palettes the best I find that the color stories are so much more refined um deliberate um thought through there's some care taken with it so i really really enjoy them and yeah let me know down below what is your favorite collaboration palette thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed like i said let me know what your 
favourite collaboration palette is? Do you own any collaboration palettes? And what are your thoughts? Do you find them supreme like I do? Or do you think they're just a bit meh? Let me know. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thumbs this video up if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the bell. Then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I think that's it for me. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!